Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 50 Round of 16 match between Misspelled Tree and Singolo. Uh, we opened with a defensive Daka from the, uh, from the, oh no, oh no. Perfect defense has made it worse. Yeah. <laughs> She's actually committed. Oh no. Um, but in the booth with me is Kalon and Purple Chest. Hello. Hello. Uh, PC's run for a cup of tea, so he'll be back presently. Glorious. And, uh, ooh, interesting. So she kind of half brought some guys forward, but not the rest of them, which is an interesting decision. Yes. So Tree is severely down. She uh, played against it in a fantastic game, which you can watch on YouTube. If you haven't watched it already, do go watch it because it was great. A uh, lovely game between herself and Yudlagar. And the Goblins did quite a bit of damage to the team, including two MNGs, one on an absolute massive, uh, uh, one on the ball carrier and one on a, a lovely uh, Storm Vermin. So with that in mind, Tree is already down because it is Underworld, has a wizard, has Glart, Smash Rip, and has Skitter. Yeah, yeah, two stars and a whiz. Um, but it versus Russian Min Max, isn't it? Rue Min yeah, Max. Yeah, Rue Min Max, yeah, exactly. Fantastic he's stuff. He's, a, he's got a blitzer for... Oh, he's, he's got, got a, blitzer a blitzer on the bench. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Good lad, Singolo. Well, he might win Chalice now, now that he's got a blitzer. This absolutely hilarious lad who is hanging around the back there, who is the ball carrier, who he's uh, he's given um, armor to on his second yes. skill gym. Why yes. would you take move on a? Why would you want move seven agility for when you can have move six uh, armor armor nine? Yes, not not what I would have done. <laughs> it's hilarious. Well, several times during the run, that armor saved him when bolted right? from injuries. Yep. Yes. But who knows what plus move would have done for him in yep. this match or the next match or the next match or, you know, whatever. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I am as surprised to see any form of Slayer on a Russian min-max build. They can be wonder if the name is ironic. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's just memeing with the Slayer more than anything else. Probably, yeah. Uh... It's probably specifically there to irk PC with the POM, <laughs> a Slayer with POM. Yeah, it's the ultimate anti-PC. Why not? <laughs> yep, there you go. Slayer, isn't it? Oh, hey. was, doesn't matter, gets him into oh, into a push. Yeah, has him trapped, so gets to go again. Another double skull? Nah, gets him full. Pylon. So, yeah, we will almost 100% see a pylon. There was no break Why in that whatsoever. Not? Exactly. So and tactically, I'm sure Jimmy's on. already. I was AFK, but I'm sure he's already uh, praised the defensive Daka. I did, yes. yes. Though Tree abandoned it a little bit by bringing up this uh, the troll, which uh, on a perfect defence, which I didn't like. Mm. He's not going for a foul, is he? That would be no. completely in character. Yeah, uh, but no, he is no. not. Uh, he's just guard. controlling what's up there. Yeah, yeah. talk guard. Look, he's got so much guard, hasn't he? Like it's so much guard, so much yeah, money blow. It's an amazing but, uh, team. Oh, because it's oh. a four plus to stand up, so that's why it is the issue. Because I was like, but well, that's got guard, so he just has to stand that up so that he can get two dice from the from the blitzer when it goes and smacks. But no, this is very interesting. Of course, Tree uh, does have a very claw heavy team, um, yep. lots of ability to remove dwarves. But as we said, there is a bench of one for the dwarves. This yep. move sideways is interesting. It's it's basically saying, you know, I'm giving up the drive turn two. Yeah, it's all yours. Yep. But the sideways is interesting. It's not to the far corner um, where she could be trapped. It's the point where if the dwarves try and swing across in front, she can move to the other side of the field. Yeah. Or also, you know, willingly reverse the drive mm -hmm. and get in behind the dwarves, um, trying to perhaps get up the ones that are on the line of scrimmage, get them back involved, get them less trapped. Or if Singolo chooses to move forward to use all the space, of course, then she can reunite with the troll and those two rats on two goblins on the ground, and hammer whatever dwarves stay around there. Um, <laughs> or we can just end turn six times. Wow. <laughs> if you just pause for a second, Jim, because yeah. wow. really you're going to have time to fill at the end of this because of that. <laughs> so we've already got to two, turn six, and yeah. so Singolo's choices. If he does move forward and seize the space and make sure that the touchdown, which is pretty close, is absolutely nailed with a nice cage, he lets the troll back up. Yes. And the troll can smash into that cage, and then with a couple of you know snipey claw mighty hits around it, suddenly he might start losing dwarves. He thinks he cannot afford to lose any dwarves at all. Mm. Which is also why he's a traditionally very foully coach. That's why we're not seeing him foul that troll out. Because he knows he's facing a triple threat from Misspelled Tree. He's not yeah. gaining any attrition. She can one turn touchdown against him. She can also use the wizard to try and uh, turn him over if it reaches mm. over time and he doesn't get the ball. 
Or, of course, she can just score in the second half and hope to get the overtime ball and then use the wizard to drive home. So that's why he's been hesitant to move forward away from this troll, mm -hmm. because he can't afford also to lose even maybe a single dwarf. Mm. So control of the field and an easy touchdown he will take. Yeah, and he's done it on turn six in case of like a mad yeah. wizard as well, hasn't he? So exactly. like he's got a bit of insurance against that back. So this is the point where she has the choice. Does she try and enact the plan and try and chip a dwarf by reuniting with this troll? Or does she just say, no, I'm happy with zero attrition? And once again, we see it just end to turn and happy with zero attrition. Pretty Instantly. awesome, to be fair, uh, not to uh, not to take any damage at all against the dwarf team. Uh, yeah, know, as as underworld. Mm. I mean, I, I don't hate the plan. It's it's a game that's been fought entirely in their heads. Tree clearly yeah. had this plan. Mm. Tigurlo has seen it, responded to it very much like I did against you, Jim. Said, mm. "Okay, well then, then I will take the easy touchdown, but I can't afford to send a murder squad after you because yeah. I can't afford to lose a dwarf." Mm -hmm. Um, because you know, if you if you had enough to push through, say against nine dwarfs wow. in the second half, they're legging these guys away as well. Yep. Getting well, as he far away as he can. Cannot afford to lose a dwarf. Sure, but I mean, he's about to go into uh, two line of scrimmages back to back as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, like if he goes if he goes anywhere else, then the, the oh sure gets sure of course. Him, so yeah, he has to he has to yeah. run away. Oh wow, double double GFI pom. Double GFI yeah. Pom, yeah. So in some reason, um, in some ways, not a very interesting half. In other ways, I mean, tactically, oh, sort of fascinating. Has the rerolls. <laughs> So, All yeah, happening in their heads rather than oh. on the field. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You Not what I would have done. As well. Yeah. <laughs> so hence we're seeing the goblin come in to try and prevent that being... I mean, it, it can't, can it? It no, can still be no. a very easy two die. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. Right, you hit on best player. Rot roll. Oof. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that is the pulsating action of your first half. Pretty brilliant. Yeah, I loved <laughs> it. That was great. That was squeaky bum time for sure, wasn't it? Wasn't it? <laughs> cool, like. <laughs> rock, rock. Rock, rock. So there we go. But you see what I mean? I mean, a, a half that looked like two people just pressing in turn. Actually, there was a huge sort of huge mental match. tussle going on as to mm -hmm. where is the pressure and you know what am I resisting and not resisting here. Yeah. Now, as I said, the first of three chances to really uh, to win this mm. game, which is the one-turn touchdown, would put Tree at 1-1 with zero attrition and the whiz in hand. Yeah. So, interestingly, uh, you kind of might let them go for the one-turn here in my book so that you don't take these hits on the line of scrimmage. Well, I mean, there's Skitter. So, I mean, yeah, are you Skitter, defending against yeah. Throw, are you defending against Skitter? So, it's hard to yeah. defend the one-turn anyway. Mm. Mm. I mean, you skitter, like Skitter can now get blitzed through, right? With Glad, Glad yep. can Glad Correct. can yep. blitz through for Skitter. So you've got to go for the yes. Skitter. Uh, you've got to go for the yeah. Skitter. He's come, he, yeah, Singolo has set far enough forward to defend against the throw teammate, but that automatically means you swap to, to Skitter, and as you say, you just punch a hole, mm. and you Skitter your way through. Um, well. Not that he's got any. Uh, not, not that he's got. Not that the he's got grabbed the troll. The troll doesn't have grab. No. So yeah, you can't oh, actually well. do. Oh well, there you okay. go. There we go. Well, there's um, your hole. Oh, yeah. I got the touchback. Oh, touchback's pretty great. So yep, skitter. Yeah, bam. So is this still and doable? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, isn't well it? doable. Yeah. Easy. Beautiful. Do you have to push it onto the troll? And then yes. the troll pushes back. Yeah, and the troll pushes yeah. back. Yeah. Shouldn't the one next to the troll have already gone below Skitter? Yes. So it's not dodging off tackle. Oh, and he stupids as well. Mm. And the loner gone. And even then, there so, needed to be and, someone... And even then, it, yeah, it needed to be filled to as fill well. that hole with the yeah. thrower or with the one by the troll. It, exactly, yeah. So it was oh, no, the one by the troll can do the hit. Of course it can. So the troll would actually have ruined that, wouldn't it? Uh, well, yes. Oh, but the, Skitter the needed one more, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, Skitter, Skitter needed one more. Yeah. Maybe, it's, maybe it wasn't possible. Maybe the maybe it wasn't to... possible after the stuns. Mm. Yeah, not sure. I'd have Actually to look at that sure. longer, and I don't care enough. Yep, correct. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> it looked like it was doable, but yeah, who knows how many players were up there. Maybe it, maybe it wasn't. Sorry for me, having watched that game live, I wanted to get through a quick tactical analysis of what was going on in those skipped turns, and I knew that Jimmy wouldn't give me that long. Maybe Skitter. So I launched in and went for it. Maybe mm -hmm. Skitter should have been, like, in, maybe Skitter was in the wrong place to start with, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think Skitter was in the wrong place to start with, because shouldn't you be trying to, like, blitz this guy from here yep. and then change, so, so Skitter should have been, like, here or something? Or 
but you then know, all, all you, of us still. You'll hate me saying it, but I think the whole method would have been better than what happened there. Well, what happened there? Well, I mean, no, yeah. no, no, it wouldn't have been better. But <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was definitely Skitter should have been here. Skitter should have yeah. been here, right? And then, and then yeah. blitz this guy, and then chain Skitter one forward. And then chain Skitter one forward, yeah. And then or all the, Skitter's here, and you and you like blitz the one on the end, and, the, and yeah, then chain, yeah. and then you've got other put, sure. other hits in case you get pals and stuff. Mm -hmm. Something like that, not what it was. Ooh. Ooh. Nope. Well, the, the troll was there in case, like, the one turn, in case the goblin one turn happened, right? So, like, the, the troll was there in his insurance against, like, if you power on the initial hit and stuff, then you can troll throw. So, like, she was trying to have a kick and eat it by having uh, two options for the one turn. Yeah. Now, this blitz is uh, pretty uh, deleterious to her winning chances, isn't it? It is. Lots of dwarves. There's only one hit, but look how much threat there is in all of these uh, guardless, defenseless little rats. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah, the, and the smack on your best player. Yeah, and of course, half of them are goblins who can't even one die their way out of it. What? It's all very, very poor for Tree, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Especially with Luckily, no damage done, but yeah, what a horrible, horrible position to be in. Dwarf blitzes don't usually secure the ball, but against a team like this that's all relying on its its speed and its dodge and so many mm -hmm. goblins, they're just horrific. Oh no. no. Six three pluses and it's solved, but <laughs> there we are, first one. Yeah, it's gonna require a reroll. Well, you can shove them away thanks yeah, to Jugs. Yeah, Jugs, yeah. Yeah, that was kind of nice. Secondary hit, yep. And down he goes. Yeah, so actually Skitter wasn't in the right place because there was, there was a Dwarf there, so that would have been the initial hit and then Skitter up the earth, that was fine. It was just the pitch invasion. Uh, not quite because the um, he had two gap a Dwarf. Did he? But yeah, fine. yeah, he did. But it doesn't matter. It's fine. No, Skitter, Skitter, Skitter was here. Okay. Skitter well, was it, here. It, it, it's good. I, uh, yeah. yeah. So Skitter was there for, the, for blitzing the middle guy. Mm-hmm. Which is probably Ooh. correct. So we get the fail come now, and then there is an injury oh. as well. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's a rat as well. Unfortunately, it's not. Yeah. A, uh, yeah. But I thought. I mean, I think Tree's done pretty good there. There's only sure. one yeah. contact left afterwards, and the troll. Mm -hmm. I think you'd probably take. Although, I mean, other than the injury, outside of that, you'd have taken that from the horrible position. But it's still horrible. Yes. I mean, all momentum yeah, has been funny. ceased in this drive. Um, I mean, you're already down numbers, you're already in a pocket with the dwarves all around you. It's yeah. an awful position to be in, isn't it? Yeah. And mm -hmm. your double LOS has done absolutely nothing. <laughs> nothing. Zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is horrible. This is almost certainly losing. But things can change with uh, yeah, Palm and Glart and yep. Dice. And a whiz, but right? Gonna, yeah, but it's going to take a lot. Sure. Because the whiz isn't the whiz isn't like the whiz isn't changing the cumulative positional yeah. loss, is it? That's the problem. For sure. Yeah. Yes, it absolutely is that exactly cumulative positional loss. It's a lovely phrase, for a gym. Mm -hmm. You've lost momentum. You've lost position. You've got mostly players on the ground at the start of each turn, and if not, they're under threat each turn. Mm. It's just horrible. Yes, <laughs> it's real bad. Like to the point where. You wish you had break tackle on you on your troll, so you could just yeah. hand it off to a yeah. goblin and lob it. <laughs> like, that's oh. literally how bad it is. These type of punches are what he was afraid of in the first half. Uh, just a stun there. Here we go. Yeah. Another one coming in. Oh, and sort of hilariously, we've moved from that incredibly tactical mind game of the first half mm -hmm. to this, you know, balls to the wall brawling second half. Mm. Pretty great, eh? Yeah. yeah, I mean that's blood bowl for you, right? So now we pass to Skitter. Uh, yes, yep. it's uh, created a little pocket of almost safety, and that yeah, will do in this half point. Yep. Look at that lovely Ooh. space. Four between the two rats. Ball to the nasty Skitter that can run. And that's why we see a couple of goblins on the horrible dwarves tying them yep. all up. Mm -hmm. Still okay. asking a lot of this troll, though, isn't it? Oh, Skitter does go down eventually. Or not Skitter, Glart. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, good, good taking good some. Chance, yeah. Taking some uh, great hits there. Did take two dwarves to get rid of him, which is pretty fantastic news. Yeah, I, w I'm, I mean, yes, I think those hits were fine to take on him, but I, mm. I, 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 after the first one, I might have hit the goblins instead and dodged off with the runner. But yeah, that's fair. I mean, it is agility four, so yeah, that's exactly. probably more than fair. Yeah. 
Didn't get the push. He really wanted the push, right, to get this as a 2D. Ooh. Ooh. Just Kills on this and then gets him on the second one and can get this guy shoved yeah. in there. Yeah. So Shoves that's pretty him great. In. Gets pretty good. Assist in. Yeah. 2Ds in and then hits Skitter. And then, and then, and then hits yep. Skitter, yeah. Does need the pow. No reroll. Yeah, and bump. Doesn't but in terms of ordering. Fast. In terms of turn ordering, has already got that runner back centralized so that he yeah. can, uh, you know, if it all fails, there are other options. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, really unlucky there. Really nicely worked from Singolo. I mean, great work from Tree from an awful position, but nicely worked from Singolo. But didn't get the hit in the end, but has got still Tree in a very tough position. Hmm. Uh, I think I would have taken that hit with Claw, to be honest. But I suppose it would have left the thrower behind. Now the only players to uh, with you. the the only tag player now to yeah. tag this isn't it? Touch through and tag. That's all, yeah. all you've got left to do. Ooh. Oh, nice oh yeah. Whoa, okay. is that? Yeah, I guess it's yeah, it's good because yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, it's not fast enough. It's not so fast enough. They can't get there. Ooh. Yeah, it's a cannon too. This could have just gone two. Yeah. Oh yeah, could have just done two GFIs, yeah. It yeah. could, but actually that one can get there without go for it, so as long as it made the... Um, three plus three dodges. Plus three plus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, so it and why yeah. not, Jim? You say that like they should. I mean, look, I think Tree's in such a tough spot that getting the goblins out and free and tagging that runner, it's all... It was a bigger ask than it perhaps needed to be, but the position she's ended up with is even better. Sure. Yes. You know, the, beard, the beards that are on the right as we look can't come through both goblins at once, so they're cut off from where they want to end up. There might, if the dwarf fails a dodge off, there might even be two turns of stalling here. Yeah. I mean, you still got to do it, right, Tom? You, you, you have to tag the edge for Bludger, like, you have to. It's like, because it, there's nothing else you can do, right? Yeah, yep. but it's a 1 in 36, so it's not a huge priority, Jim. And like, no, but, but this it's... one, you could have gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah. 6, GFI, GFI, right? And then yeah, you could have got this maybe. one, and then, and then you could this one could have double GFI to here, and this one could have double GFI to here. <laughs> and like, you could have done, like, you, you could have tried all of that, and like, okay, it's probably not going to work, but you've got to try, right? Otherwise, he's just going to dodge off and power you and you lose. When people do sort of 6 to 10 go for it in a toe turn, Jim, it, it often gets mentioned to them, you'll find. <laughs> Didn't pile on! Didn't pile on! Didn't pile on? Oh, there you go. Boom. Low skater. Oh, no, armor break's pretty great. Tragedy. And the pickup isn't. Makes the GFI. That, you know, he had movement yep. seven, but he, uh, yep. if he'd had movement seven, he wouldn't have had to do that GFI, but no problem. <laughs> well, we'd perhaps he wouldn't be alive, Jim, because the armor wouldn't have saved him. Maybe, maybe. Bolt, like, straight so, away, right? Yeah. The, the quick score was a Bolt. great plan. It was a lovely C. She, she bought a lovely corner oh, the there that yep. worked. <laughs> Didn't um, matter. So all of that was great. And <laughs> the stab takes the ball down. No, no, Bolt, Bolt. Bolt. Uh, Bolt takes the ball down, yeah. So the yeah. wizard's gone. Um, but it should mean that we, uh, oh, we get the score. What? I'm going to pick up the sure hands. But is he in range? Yeah. Because he was standing no, still, not. so he can get, get no, all the way not. over there. He's no, not, he's, he's, he's not, not scoring. Range. Oh, no. no. Oh, we'll have to do the GFI there, surely. It's all part of a stall attempt. <sighs> yeah, but if you're stalling, you just make the, the one GFI. Yeah, I mean, I would. Yeah, definitely. But... There are other, or re-roll that dodge. Yeah, I was going to say, presumably there are other yep. things that Tree wants to bring that she thinks she might need the re-roll for. Oof. And yet... Yeah. Okay. It, it didn't end up improving the end, the situation. No. No, really, it. really, he, this this Storm Vermin had to GFI twice. <laughs> yeah, I don't, <laughs> if, I don't if understand why that first... With the, with the, did uh, that first beard pick itself up from the ground to drop on that Storm Vermin? Because I thought it could go down the edge. It could have gone around the side. On a single GFI, it could have been yeah. on the ball, couldn't it? Mm. Uh, no, not on the ball, no. This one needs two GFIs to get on the ball. No, the first one that moved right on the far left. Yeah, no, but this one needs two, yeah. so I don't know if, if he needed two. I thought it only needed one. one. Yeah, no, I don't know about the other one, but this this one here <laughs> needed yes, two. Yes, needed two. Yeah. yeah. And should have done them. He's got two there, but it's only one day. Whereas he could have, he one could have day, assisted yeah. and then gone there. Oh, he's just hitting skitter. Oh, he's gone for here, skitter. Okay. Okay. Well, tree will take that, I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Just a three plus off so, um, to score. Yeah, I think on this there were some very strange decisions that turn. Yeah. I thought there was a two plus for one assist, a two two plus for a second assist, and then a, a very easy two die. Yeah. 
Um, Ball Carrier has dodge as well, right? Ball Carrier does have dodge. So, I mean, well, you could put in the 2 plus 2 plus for the one assist, and then the one that could have gone down the line, I think, could have hit it on a 2 plus 2 plus. Stab! Oh, jump up, stab! 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 stab. Um, Cast! Cast! The armor, then? Oh my god! <laughs> yes! Uh, Shove your armor nine up your uh, ass, mate! <laughs> ooh, lads! Oh, and the mix of dodge, no brother. Uh, oh, wow, stall? Go for the turn of stall. Yeah. Oh! So <laughs> we well, got to, don't you? I mean, you just yeah, can't you have, let the yeah. have too long to drive back. It's doors, it's four turns. But three is much, much harder for them. But yeah, this is out completely out of range with two J5, so yeah, you have yeah. to. Yeah. yeah. You have to you have to when you get completely out of range. I, would, I I think I would have just gone for the skirt score last turn. Um sure. but this turn, yeah, this you've better. got to. Yeah, yeah, this turn you have to because it's double GFIs to get completely free. I mean, I think with the whiz gone, I kind of like what Tree's done, gambling mm -hmm. it all on saying I, I really need the dwarves not to score back. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna stall it out. I'm gonna get the overtime ball. Because mm -hmm. remember, this is two of her shots have failed now. She doesn't have the whiz for the turnover or to drive home in overtime, and she didn't make the one turn. So now, really, it's all about getting one one <laughs> at the end and the overtime ball. Thanks, oh, Kfog. Kfog. Yeah. Kfog also, could have just lobbed the goblin, right? Could have just lobbed the goblin. So, like, uh, oh, hey, tree. Didn't and, know you, you know, I think that's the thing. We just skipped over it because we didn't care. Sorry, tree. <laughs> I did care, tree. And yeah, I, I cared. I, I no, cared. you both said you didn't care, but now, oh, yeah, now no, you, you care. Said it and I no, 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 no. You both said you didn't care. <laughs> now the tree say, oh, I cared. Oh, I cared. Turn. Oh no, I cared about the the skipped turns. No, the one turn I didn't. <laughs> I, I thought it wasn't doable once the stuns were down, but I might. Be I, wrong. I did. Yeah. I mean, the, the the toss was definitely doable, right? So could have still gone for the toss. Mm -hmm. So you've got to look at it. It's it's hard because you don't have time to look and see if it's if it's doable in the in like in the short time you've got right to to assign the ball. That's bad. That you've only got fifteen seconds, so you probably do give it a skitter and then work out if you can personally do it or not. Yeah. Um, and then if you can't, then you then you hand off to the goblin and mob the goblin, right? Would have been the player, but um, obviously, yeah, obviously, careful could work it out if it was possible. Uh, I just didn't look at it too much because I didn't care. <laughs> that joyous stab and uh, and the Boom. I thought you know creative and very brave stalling. You yes, got to the yeah. Point where this is now defendable for one one at the end. Yep. And still, the attrition's incredibly low. I mean, there are now some dead rats on there and some dead yeah. goblins, yeah, but we still got a tiny rats. bench, so there's still. Within acceptable parameters, in the yeah. team on the field. Yep. Yeah, three turns from Singolo is is def it's definitely possible that he fails, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And no Apo anymore. I mean, so... it's possible he kills half the underwhelm as well, but it, sure. it's possible. It's it's a defendable. You know, you'd think yes, I can I can have a good go at that. Three claw, two with mighty blow. Yeah. Pretty uh, it's pretty scary prospect for dwarves. So uh, yeah, he'll not be happy about it overall. This and is again, as that first half pressure, he still really wants to not lose dwarves, hmm. because if he faces a tree overtime ball, you know he's going to want a full team to defend against it. Lads, he's in so much trouble. He's put a blitzer on. Oh, yeah. oh and he's got rioted on. There you oh. go. Well, now Ouch. he's almost got no well, uh, chance. Hmm. Now it's almost certainly overtime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the last turn of stall was definitely correct because it was double G if yeah. I get out of range. That's that's not up for debate, is it? No. Um, the, the last turn. But Tweed did so great to get that ball down the field in a scoring spot. I, I, yes, that go, I would have done that one go for it on the pickup if you weren't scoring this with Skitter. But those extra turns she stalled have given her this shot. It's I think it was yeah. brave, yeah. but probably the right play. Yep. Oh yeah, I'm not saying it was right that I would have picked up the Skitter. I just think I would have done. I would have just banged it in because I'd be thinking to myself, why the hell am I playing Underworld? <laughs> <laughs> Like, I just wouldn't have been playing Underworld in the first place. How soon can I not be playing Blood Bowl? Yeah, yeah. Like, I just would, literally wouldn't have been playing Underworld in the first place. So so this doesn't look like an attempt at a two-turn to me. This looks like an attempt at some attrition. Yep. Yep. You just hold a bunch of lads in place. Well, I mean, it is the weakness Ooh. of the, the min-max Russian build, isn't it? Mm. Is it, it? It just isn't responsive. Not that dwarves are responsive at the best of times. Mm. So he's probably right, Singola, leaning into what dwarves can do, you know, hit things hard yeah. and stay alive and not what with they only can't. A, with only a single turn left and the rats not able to be, the underworld not being able to score against them, I uh, I would have thought that he'd go for the uh, blitzer throw there at the back of the field and make him MVP ready. 
<laughs> uh, if he does that, he could he, he could have got scored on though, right? Because oh, uh, there's a goblin. The goblin. Yeah, yeah. there's a goblin that could have been yeah, could have been thrown in, and then Skitter could have picked it up and handed it off to him. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, line rash blitz. Blockless block, stunning a dwarf. Ooh. Yeah. You gotta love it. Yeah. Let's get the uh, the leader out of there. Smashy smash. Ah, nothing. Diced. Diced again. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, dodging. To do nice. what? Um, oh, because there's another chance to go. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. God. No, God, I'm a dumbo. <laughs> That's why if you I mean, away, those that could run away, run away, Jim. Yeah, I just thought it was for fun. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. So four, Glart four, survives. Five, six, six. I guess could have run around here for for, oh. like, for like the uh, the extra hitch. Three die, yeah. Potential. But gets the Ooh, KO, huge KO. Uh, yeah. Stun. Apple, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Love it. Well, really at the moment we've got four casualties and two KOs, so we yeah. we we need help to be back up to a full 100%. team. It's interesting so though, think, isn't it? It also goes back to Tree's earlier point about like having to go at the stall to have a chance. Maybe you've just got to yeah. hope that you get it back on the four plus to have a chance. You know? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. I, I would definitely have that put. I mean, I think I think most of us would have put it, but yeah. there is an argument for not appling it, thinking for that sure. you're going to have to keep the apple and roll a four plus to have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I mean, unfortunately, no KOs back. Mm. Which way does the coin go? To the what? To the mm. dwarfs, to unfortunately. The, to the dwarfs. Yeah. yeah. So that's all three of. I mean, Tree came up with a, a plan. Whatever you think of it, I think it was a good plan. Uh, yeah. Given, giving her outs. As I said at the start, her three outs, of course, were the throw teammate, the whiz for turnover in overtime. Mm. Or the whiz to drive home in overtime because the overtime ball was number three yeah. and so for all three of those have gone so she now does have to um turn over a drive against her with dwarves yeah um, but she has some tools to do that still it, it she just does. and and she's got to the point where and if you do that in the first half there's a really good chance that half your team's dead by the end of the first half and you've already lost the game I mean, if anybody is in doubt about whether or not, you know, taking the, the, the few less attrition in the first half uh, was a good idea or not, they'd need just to look at what the dwarves managed to do in Tree's Drive <laughs> yes. uh, to see why it was a good idea. Yes, that's the thing, isn't it? The, the, the tackle on the dwarves is just a killer for the poor little goblins. Like, you know, you just get your whole team swamped and, and mighty blows bound and it's, it's just mm -hmm. horrible. And yes, you can put the goblin screen up and keep your key players safe, but... All Singolo is going to do is contact all of those goblins, and you're having to make all the three pluses to keep them safe every turn. <laughs> and if you fail an early one, he will slaughter the rest. Yeah. Oh, send it to me too, please, Cor. <laughs> I definitely want to see some Cor's bad drawings. Yeah, I love, I love terrible, terrible blood ball drawings. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, PTK original. Yeah, nice. It's in the Discord. Oh, glorious. Oh, oh. Oh, lads, that's a big removal. That is a big <laughs> removal. Oh, yeah, yep. If I, yeah. Did not, if I had an app home, I would have app home that. Well, I mean, that was the other option, isn't it? Is <laughs> yeah. you keep it for a, a, an app on, yeah. you know, whichever whether you're driving or not in this overtime course. But I do think that Tree faced a, you know, oh, I'm going to be down positions. Yeah. And even if I'm driving, I need everything on the field. So I wouldn't hate that app no. that not at all. I, I jest entirely just because... Yeah, of I know, but it's, it's, of course, happens, but yes. Nuffle wants to mock you by the exactly. instant you're taking your yeah. troll off on a KO. Correct. <laughs> God. <laughs> um, the, <laughs> he's not joking about how terrible the drawing is, by the way. I can't make head and the tail of it. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, if you were on YouTube and uh, wanted to get involved, uh, I believe there's a link underneath for uh, Jimmy's Discord. Yeah, there so you go. So you will be able to see Peter K's terrible drawing. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, I get it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, because you only need two pushes, don't you? Yeah, this, this was it's, yeah, this was the correct way. Well done. It's correct. Is it well correct? Well done, Cole. Yeah, it's, I can it's confirm correct. that the best one-turner in the world has, <laughs> has done a correct one-turner. <laughs> shocking, shocking as it may be to... <laughs> yeah, surprise, <laughs> to surprise. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, that was right. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, I'm wrong. It was possible. Yeah. <laughs> possible by call. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that means every time there's a one term, Jim, we just need to make sure calls on, and then we say, well, we're not talking about it, and he's doing the work for us. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. <laughs> I mean, you know, right. the, the other option, if in your, if you need to get a one turn, is to just roll all of the dice. <laughs> well, that does help. Yeah, and then and then it doesn't matter. You can make your opponent sad. Yeah. I don't think I ever said it with quite that level of attack. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> but it's it's fun to make it more I, of an yes, issue. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I keep thinking I should one time just get really grumpy about a lot. Yeah. <laughs> just just fuck <laughs> just, just, really, like, fuck, fuck everything about them. I hate that person. <laughs> Fucking dickheads. It's yeah. just not really in me, do you know what I mean? Absolute <laughs> dickheads. Chaos <laughs> <laughs> got out of the pitch. Amazing. <laughs> 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 uh, I'll take it as a person on the front, obviously. Amazing, that's so good. Mm. <laughs> I, I hadn't noticed. <laughs> but then, you know, why would I look at anyone but me in a picture? Oh, obviously. Yeah. Well, I'm there, and that's all that matters. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Picture of Blood Bowl. I'm there. Yep, all good. Yep, good. <laughs> Seems legit. Yep. So Tree's trying to fight with a few a few people here. And like, you know, there's a few players, and there's, what, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's still ten, like, you know, so it's yeah. still, it's still in theory possible. However, Singolo is, yeah. isn't going to, like, make some massive balls up. And he's just going to grind down the uh, field. We'll with see, yeah. Of, I mean, double skulls happen, other things. things happen, you know. There's still, there's still, still two claws on the field. Yeah. There's so still... That's... So that's a terrible oh. misclick in the previous game, you know. I mean, that's true. Happens, right? That's yeah. true. That's true. I just doubt it. I just and doubt the problem, it, the problem here is the removal of the troll drains the belief, doesn't it? And he's going to if the troll the, could be the dealing with two or three of these dwarves at once, for example, yeah, then you might true. think you could do some stuff to others. But without a troll, I mean, you really are reduced to sniping with hoping to get your claw onto one thing a turn and hoping that somehow turns the tide. Oof, that's massive. Well, the dwarves are just well, going to pound, stunned. pound, mm -hmm. pound. This dead doesn't pile on because the stun is fine because it does get him the space. Look at this. Whoa, look at the space he's taking, PC. I know. Four. I am physically aroused. Mm. Oh, my God. Jim um, <laughs> Yeah, there you go. There's there's the link. That that link definitely works. But there's one in the, in the stream description. Oh, that doesn't work. Yes. Oh, thank you. Yes, thank C Shark. This game is reminiscent of the first <laughs> half of Space Jam. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Yes. That's not. Oh, that's stab, not stab the ball! Stab, stab the ball! Stab, stab, stab. On, oh, it was a six. Oh. I really wanted it to be a nine or a ten. Yeah, like it's it's got to be one of those ten. two, right? It's got to be a nine or a ten. Yeah. But there we are. I mean, again, Tree has worked the opportunity. Yep. Yep. And and it it didn't pay off, but there's nope. you know there's a lot of bounces from there that could have given Tree a, cho a shot at that ball. Um, so really range, well man. done against a Singolo dwarf meat pack, shoving itself down your throat. To still oh get that opportunity. God. Oh my god, PC. <laughs> well, my imagery too too rife for you. It was a little bit graphic, yeah. A little bit. It was a little bit graphic. Sorry. Against a strong dwarven advance, which is using its skills to hurt your players, mm. he has managed to work an opening and still get a stab upon the ball carrier, which could have led to a good outcome for her. Uh, yes. Impressing me yep. with a tactical savvy. I'm, I, uh, Singor did not impress me, by the way. He could have he could have three dice yeah. goblin, three dice to goblin for a push, yep. then three dice to goblin for a push, then three dice to goblin for a push, and scored. Yep. Like it was super easy, barely an inconvenience. Bosh, you uh, get more SPP this way. Might do. Well, yeah, and the, the way he drove forwards, I mean, he he gave Tree that corner of the cage to push open, mm. which I just felt he didn't need to. It was reckless. Yeah. Mm. And I don't mean sort of fun like a Rick Reckless woo. <laughs> I mean it, it was it was risky when he didn't need to. He had the game. I mean yeah, he's still got a full cage here, so he didn't have to score this turn, but it wouldn't have been hard to do those three days to push him in the range and just score. And obviously if move seven he could have scored as well. <laughs> Even easier. Uh, yeah, it goes for the cage dive. Yep. Yeah, it goes for the cage dive. No, fair play. Loved it. Yep. Needs must when the devil drives. This is mm. it. Correct. 
<laughs> well, you can snipe a corner and hope Singolo fails at 1 in 36. Woo, he would have done as well. <laughs> well, it's not a 1 in 36. You've got to hope he fails a 1 in 12. Nine, does it, Jim? Wow, what a time to say that, Trips Carl. Right? You've got to hope he fails a 1 in 12, 9, 6, all right? And he'd opened the back corner of the cage to do it, so it mm. could have been mildly inconvenient. But yeah. it wasn't. Yeah. Room in Max, go through. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, that is a. That is a brutal. I mean, it's a brutal matchup for Underworld or uh, Amazons, isn't it? Getting a brutal min max team like that, Dwarves. You've almost got no chance. Did the right thing, the defensive Daka. Hope to get some chips with your palm and did absolutely nothing. Uh, it's somewhat reminiscent of a game I may have had or may not have had, but there you go. That's what I was interested in coming on and talking about. I don't normally want to do that with games I've watched, Jim, but I actually thought it was reminiscent of our game. In that, again, looking from the outside, you might think, what's going on here? Why is this happening? But as I tried to explain, I thought Tree's tactics were really, really good and interesting. Um, I thought, I mean, I didn't, I, I don't, I never intrinsically love the let's not play Blood Bowl, that's how I'm going to win Blood Bowl. But I thought in that situation, what she did gave her those three big outs, all of which could have been games changing. Um, not entirely her fault, they didn't work. I thought she, you know, when she was under pressure on her own drive, found that space beautifully. And it just, it didn't work for her today. But I thought it was a really good plan. And it was similar to yours. You know, chip a dwarf and suddenly there isn't enough to defend against what you know the other team's going to be trying. So Singolo had to be very careful with it. And hence you didn't see him go rowdy and try and just pile into her and generate the SPP that way. Mm -hmm. So what on one level looked quite dull was tactically, I thought, really interesting. Uh, yeah, it was well played from both. 21 armor breaks is uh, pretty fucking fantastic as well, right? Yeah, I mean, that's... And uh, is yeah. another, another nod in its favor. Yeah, it's, it's, and it's probably not even that lucky, right, when you think of, of goblins like getting smashed yep. by three dice by tackle often like it was just it was just brutal wasn't it like it's yeah it was just brutal what you expect there's not a lot you can do uh, like just got swamped on the, the blitz was just horrendous wasn't it and it was just like yep yeah and obviously there were three halves as well so the, the 21 yep. AP is over three halves in the end but there you go so it's actually only for seven and a half which <laughs> you know considering the amount of mighty blow hitting goblins uh, you yeah. have expected Maybe yeah, that. this is probably this might even be unlucky for Singolo, but obviously three <laughs> AV breaks is is yeah. horrendous for like having a claw bomber. Um, An interesting point from Femir. Um, her mistake was not using the perfect defense. <laughs> um, he may be right. Her mistake was using the perfect defense um, and bringing the troll up to the line. Maybe if he hadn't done that, you know, she'd have been able to have just that little bit more um, stability. <laughs> Right. Anyway, and, uh, and yep. his other point that you know to to use a one turn uh, overtime strategy, you need to reach OT with everything. Um, perhaps so. I, I felt her real big mistake was uh, allowing her opponent to roll a blitz in the second half. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not Terrible. doing the core, and not doing the core one turn right. Not being as good one turns as core, uh, the best player yeah, in the world. Um, shocking. If you're not as good, you know. But the thing is, we all could be. You know, we could all put in yep. the effort and be as good at core as one turns. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like it's not like some mystical it ability that he has. All of the, all of like everyone over sixty percent could put in the effort yep. and be yep. as good at core as one turns. There's just nobody wants to, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it does always impress me though, Jim, when someone has put that effort in and learned something directly out of a book that they can just replicate on the board. Exactly. Yeah, it's incredible. Like I've I've, I've mentioned before, how I uh, got my toys out and got my board out and sat here on my on my uh, sitting room floor uh, playing with my toys by myself and I got ridiculed for it but you yeah. know maybe this uh, maybe maybe I should be doing that well, Get all you my could. Out. Maybe not sixty percent. Maybe maybe every seventy percent it could be as good as core at one turn. Maybe sixty percent has have got a lot. You know, maybe different people have got different ceilings. But yeah, you know, like certainly like top players could could be like aren't top players aren't as good as core at one turns. But I'm pretty sure they could be if they put in loads of effort. Like, it, it, but you know, who know, who knows how much effort you have to put in and whether everyone can. But it's it does seem like. Yeah. People do learn in different ways. I mean, as Kalon says, sometimes people just need to watch the guide. Some other people need to read about it and think about it or discuss it with others. Some people will need to, you know, get the physical board out and put it there. And Kalon, you know, if you are choosing just to play with yourself and someone walks in and sees you, you shouldn't be embarrassed. <laughs> Thanks, man. Completely normal. Thank yeah, you. no, I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> right. I mean, I've, I've told them don't come in when I'm hoovering my room. <laughs> right, and uh, so there you go. On that bombshell, commiserations, Miss Beltree. Congratulations, Singolo. Thank you very much, Kalon and PC. Glorious having you on, as always. Pleasure. <laughs> Thanks. Pleasure. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>